Welcome back to the sync analysis of a television trailer. My name is Charles Van from Blue Beauty Entertainment, LA based sync agent, and want to share my insights and thanks for the feedback and the comments. Got some great positive feedback on these sync analysis of various uses. And so wanted to spend some time on a looking at a trailer from the Chicago Fire PD and Med series produced by Dick Wolf, uh, one of my favorite shows. So just want to play this from the top and we'll talk about the use of the music and go from there. Well, I these guys are the best. That's their whole job. Get me home to my baby. I promise. You can stand me. I basically had to fly to Alabama, put you in handcuffs, and drag you home. I'm here. We're in this together. That's our new ED attending. Dr. Ripley, we've met before. No, I'm a physician at this hospital. Do not treat me like the boy you knew 20 years ago. Shut down every block between here and Med. You okay? Never hear me going anywhere. What is happening? What is happening? Listen up, mass casualties en route. We've been running a long time. Just fire with the police. Let's do it. Chicago Wednesday returns January 17th on NBC and Peacock. All right, very cool. So that right was a cover of Tom Petty's Won't Back Down and haunting vocals, minimalist vocals with the string and synth, that slow build, and it was trailerized. So that's a term you'll hear whether that's for a movie trailer or a TV trailer where the production qualities of the arrangement is trailerized. So it's meant to be have dynamic builds and the repetition in the chorus there is very impactful. And that was a cover. And it's not until the very, say, 30 seconds of that trailer you have the big build and the crescendo. And then as the vocal fades out, there's an echo at the very end. So how does that uh, work with pitching for promos and trailers? If you did a cover version, something we talked about in a previous episode of Sync Riffs, is you cover the track and when you pitch it or you work with your sync agent, we're going to label that track as representing the master rights and the music supervisor. Once they know it's a, it's a cover, they're going to come to the sync agent to clear the master rights. And then for the publishing, they're going to, going to approach the given uh, writer and publisher of that song. So in the case with Tom Petty, that was a great cover. And the use of the trailer is a minute, one minute long in duration. So that's something one could do, create a custom track, have that in your library, and then have the full arrangement, have the instrumental. And in the case of trailers, a good takeaway, we had... Troy McCubbin from Alloy Tracks in one of our listing sessions for our academy. He gave some great feedback to students about how to trailerize a song. And one of the takeaways we got from Troy is having your stems for a song that you trailerize. And when you provide the stems to the editor, they can accordingly edit things as they see fit. So we're going to have Troy back for Sinclair Pro Academy coming up in the spring. Amazing guy. He worked with the band Journey 
in remixing one of their cuts for the song in that was featured in Stranger Things. So that is in a nutshell if you look at that previous trailer we just looked at what were the sonic qualities very uh impactful cover and it had that tension and the hook the chorus is not backing down which the through line for this season all the trials and tribulations that are happening with the three series and the challenges that are faced by uh, police officers and firemen and women and also the staff at Chicago Med. So I want to take a look at one more promo for the season finale of Chicago Fire. It was called, in quotes, uh, Red Waterfall. So I'll take this from the top and we'll talk about it. Care for that little girl. It's meant to be. I want to be here if there's anything I can do to help. My first kiss was right here. My team, they don't know about me. So that was a short little 30-second trailer there capturing the season finale. and. A lot of minimalist with uh, use of the piano and rising builds to create that tension. And it's a short 30 second so trailer. And that's an example of something that Troy talked about in his guest appearance with us is sometimes with trailer houses, they'll have a bank of sounds and effects. Um, hi-hats, snare, drums, um, kick, kick drums and snares, hi-hats, synth pads, and he'll license out those elements to a trailer house. And what they'll do is they'll take some components and they'll craft something custom for a given trailer. But the elements they're licensing, Troy will get uh, a license here for a couple cues, and then they may license some other cues from a different um, composer, and they'll craft something that works just right for the trailer. So, just wanted to share those. Those were a couple short examples. And again, to recap, if you're wondering about covering a song, do your due diligence. One tool that you can do is research what songs have previously been covered and used in a ad or a video or, or a game or a TV show or film. That, that will give you an indication of if you do a cover, will it clear? Can the supervisor clear that writing and uh, publishing? of the rights owner because sometimes you could cover a song i think there was one example working with natalie walker on her first record she covered counting crow's tune called colorblind and it was being considered for a sync in a hit show i think it was gray's anatomy at the time and at the time the counting crows they denied the uh use the didn't want their that cover version being used. Uh, every band has um, their creative input. Sometimes it comes down to the creative. How is their song being used in a in a, in a given show? And they may not agree with um, their song being synced. So that's why it's great and it's it's a good practice to do your research, see what songs are being cleared for other covers. And then you kind of have a roadmap of what you can cover and potentially have it be cleared. And of, of, of course it comes, it's a case by case. I interviewed Ann Klein, music supervisor, and you have creative on the one side and then you have the budget on the other side. So there has to be that balance, the artist, 
the rights owner of the song has to agree to the context of the use. And then it comes down to the financials. Do they approve the quote fee? Uh, and so that's where the negotiation comes in and the clearance. And so with that, just wanted to spend some time here talking about Chicago Fire, a couple of these trailers. And click that notification, click that like, subscribe. And last but not least, post up your comments of what other trailers or shows you would love to see some sync analysis, and we'll drop those in future uh, videos. With that, we'll catch you on the other side. Namaste.